Hey everybody, Robert Kennedy the third here, RK3 back again with another video on the techniques and the technologies of storytelling. Now, as a communicator, as a storyteller, as a presentation coach, one of the questions that I get asked quite frequently is, Robert, how do I get rid of the nerves? How do I get rid of the butterflies? How do I speak without being anxious? And I Now, there are a lot of different answers for this. There are a lot of different things that people share. They say that you should do these poses. They say that you need to reframe your mind, that you need to think positively. Think positively. <laughs> Visualize. See yourself as successful and you will be able to deliver an amazing presentation. Now, there's nothing wrong with any of those ideas, but there's one simple technique that if you do this, you're gonna get rid of the nerves. Ready for it? Here it is. Nail the beginning of your presentation. That's right, nail the beginning. You can practice all of the rest of it, but make sure that you nail the beginning. Nail the beginning of your speech. Know what you've got to say right at the beginning. I want you to think about it this way. If you've ever been on a roller coaster, the time that you're most nervous happens at two times, just before you hit the highest drop and right at the beginning of that highest drop. When you're halfway down the drop, you're not as nervous as you were at the beginning. You're in the middle of it. When you're close to the bottom of the drop, you're not as nervous as you were at the beginning because you're in the middle of it or you're almost done. And I remember being nervous before I spoke for quite some time, but as I replayed the messages in my brain, I realized that once I started speaking, I wasn't as nervous as I was back at the beginning. So instead of trying to memorize every single word and making sure the entire thing is perfect, what I focused on doing was nailing the beginning, whatever that beginning was. Sometimes I might get the audience singing a song. Sometimes I might get them clapping their hands. If you're happy and you know, wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy and you know, wave your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you face the shoulder, shoulder. If you're happy and you know it, wave your hands. If you're happy and you know it, do all three at the same time. Clap your hands. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do something just to get the focus off me so that the audience can think about themselves and that I, as a speaker, as a presenter, can begin to serve them in the best way possible. So that's it. Have a structure for your speech practice the beginning, nail the beginning of your speech or presentation. Let me know what you think of this tip in the comments below. If you have any other thoughts or questions, things you want me to make videos about, make sure that you put that in the comments as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and bing, hit that bell so you'll get notified when I drop new videos. Don't keep this to yourself, share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video.